So the year is 2020, and Apple goes ahead and makes a pretty decent set of iPhones, but it's funny because these set of iPhones that were supposed to be a pretty decent change ended up having one of the weirdest issues I've ever seen from any phone, and it is a, such a weird widespread problem, and Apple still hasn't really basically talked about this at all. There's been no service repair program for any of these iPhones. And the issue was that back in that moment, for some reason, these iPhones had some sort of battery issue. They would essentially just be able to just date, they would just degrade the battery like crazy so fast, it was not even funny. So basically, for example, my iPhone 11 Pro that I used basically for like a year up until that point, I had a pretty good time and that phone lasted for still turning on. It's still really good. It's not even that old of a phone, but that battery health is not even that low. It's like 90 something percent. So it's still fairly high. And I used that phone for a super long time and it was just like a phone I would use basically every single day. And the iPhone 12 Pro came out, I bought it, and that phone's battery life degraded so quickly that by the time I was like seven or eight months into its lifespan, it already degraded more than my iPhone 11 Pro. So that was something that was concerning. And by the time I was done using that iPhone, that battery health degraded down to under 90%. It was like 80 something percent. And the last video I made on it was like about a year ago. And it's insane because it's still having issues. My battery health on my iPhone 12 Pro is still going down at a pretty rapid pace. And that is something that stands out to me a lot because I'm not even using that iPhone that much. I let it sit there for a while. I know I shouldn't let it die, but even before I was letting it charge up all, you know, normally I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was overdoing it in any way, but it is crazy that with this type of iPhone, even three years into its lifespan, it is still having these types of battery issues. With all the software updates, with all the improvements, including the, I think, iOS 15 update that Apple pushed out, stating that, hey, you know, this addresses a problem specifically for the iPhone 12 models that will fix this, and it's still not working, it's still having issues. So I say that to say if any one person who's watching this video has any sort of issues with their iPhone 12s or they've had an experience with an iPhone 12, that battery just was degrading like crazy, I would probably recommend leaving that in the comment section below. Because if you're able to talk about it and if you're able to kind of hear those issues, I can probably make a follow-up video with everyone else's complaints because I look through Apple's forums and I look through the subreddit for iOS and Apple support all the time. And sometimes you will still see in this day and age, like pretty recently, a lot of people just basically saying, hey, you know, I just checked an iPhone 12 and it's still having issues. The battery health is still going down. And I swear that it is with the iPhone 12 in particular. I have no idea what the battery, if they'd use a new battery component or something, but that was something that even then was crazy. And the fact that people are still having issues with it now isn't, it's even crazier in my opinion. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.